I am soaked to the bone. That's fucked up. <laughs> so here's Anthony's review of the campsite privy. I mean, this Just wait a minute. <laughs> well, went to bed last night. We were all worried about rain this weekend. You know, talking about uh, packing like painters tarps for canopies and you know all that stuff and how we're gonna be soaked. Rain gear, blah blah blah. Well, the weather weather forecast changed overnight. Five to seven inches tonight. Uh, and then in the in the morning, early morning, another one to three at least. So uh, it's all snow, which is awesome. I'm excited about. Uh, you know, we, we planned on me and Jonas planned on uh, sleeping in the shelter. It faces the pond, I guess. And no, I didn't do any research. Um, Jonas did it. <laughs> so. Uh, we're hoping the wind isn't blowing off the pond because I still I really want to sleep in the shelter. I did bring my ha hammock as a backup, but I never slept in a shelter, and I figured, me being the anti-social sleeper I am, um, winter time would be a great time um, to do it because probably just be Jonas in there, and it's a pretty big shelter. It's actually we've shared a hotel room before, and uh, this shelter is probably bigger than our hotel room was, but we'll see. See how it goes, uh, but yeah, it's even snowing. Um, I am probably halfway up 113, almost a Freiburg maybe, and uh, yeah, it's snowing here too, so even snowing in Maine. Woohoo! Snow! <laughs> so, should be an exciting night. So anyways, I'm down here at the Sawyer Pond Trail. Now we're gonna hike in on the Sawyer River Trail. <laughs> Confusing, huh? Um, so yeah, I pulled over, came, took a run down here, cause it's all broken, well, before, except for the fresh snow, and uh, seeing if we can cross the river. Cause the river's like right there, so I figured I'd scope it out. And if we can, if we could cross the river, if we think we can, we'd have to probably park a car back down at, um, at Oliverian, um, trailhead and do a little bit of a road walk because there's no parking out there. And with five to seven inches coming in tonight, no way I'm parking on the side of the cake. So I'm going to go down and check out the river, see if it's something we can pull off. If not, we'll just do an out and back. So here's where the trail comes out. <laughs> And here's the river. I gotta look up the name. I cannot remember the name of this river. I always thought it was the Kangamangus River, but it's not. But it looks like maybe people have been crossing over on that ice bridge over there. Jeez. Yeah, don't think so. Upriver. They were crossing. This was frozen because that's over my boots. I heard that people forge this river in the Ford. Is it Ford to forge this river in the summer? Come so. back in the summer and do it, but at least now I know. I won't be questioning it all night. So anyways, get back to the car, and I know Eunice, because I saw somebody pulled over, and I bet you it was Eunice, because um, these trailheads are almost identical. One, one's Sawyer River Trail, and the other one's Sawyer 
Now I don't remember what the other one. Sawyer Pond Trail, there we go. So they're pretty similar, and they're only probably five miles apart. So anyway, I'm going to head down the other trailhead and get ready to head out and go camping in the snow. I can't wait. Don't make a habit of dragging bottles out into the woods. So this is my solution. And I don't usually do it in the car. And tonight, I'll heat this up. I think you can heat it up in the platypus, but because last time I just heated it up in the, you use water and you do the, the bowl. But, uh, yeah, let me rephrase that. I can't pour and talk, I guess. Um, you gotta put the, the bottle in the hot, the water and heated the water up. Um, that's how it said to do it on the bottle, actually. Then the last time I put it in a hydro flask and heated the sake up and I didn't notice a difference. It's not like you don't bring it to a boil because then all the alcohol will boil away. So this let's get the air out of there. So there's the sake. There's a warm relief, some fireball shots. And of course I'm the only one that drinks I guess. So, trying a Smith, Smith and Forge hard cider, made strong. Wow, 300 calories in this thing. 30 grams of carbs. You know that's all sugar. It's 24 grams of sugar. And, and, a Foster, Fosters. Um, you can make a, a stove out of these cans. So I, I bought it. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't think I like... I'm not a big Lager fan, and I don't know if I like Forrester, Forrester's. Uh, can you tell I drive a Forrester? Um, Foster's. But I'm going to try it. If Morse comes, worst case is I dump it out. I just got to remember not to crush the can because I want to keep it. So. Got old Eunice over there getting ready in his... Wife for girlfriend's car. <laughs> and it is snowing out. Woo! Waiting on BK. He's a little late. He had to turn around and go get something for his hammock. So. Anyways, I'm going to get dressed, packed up. I think we're going with a polk. I think we decided on that because he want he we were gonna sleep in the shelter and he wants to have his tent just in case and his tent's kind of heavy. So I told him we'll put it in the polk and we'll take turns pulling it. Um, Should have probably grabbed some wood, nice dry wood, because we're it's gonna be hard to find some dry wood to get a fire started. But we'll figure it out. I have a fire starter somewhere I picked up at the store last night, but I don't remember what I did with it. Trying to I got home late, trying to rush to get everything ready. But anyways, let's get ready. So when BK gets here, I'm not holding him up. So because we couldn't cross the river down that, I was just down here, this river right here we can't cross. Um, we're just going to, we're up here, we're going to go and do an inn. And this will connect us to the end of Sawyer River Road, which is closed right now. And then um, it's two, three, three point eight to that, to the road. And then another 1.5 to the campsite. And we're going to stay at this shelter, uh, Sawyer Pond campsite, right on the pond. Um, originally I wanted to come down this way, but it's not going to work out. So um, we're just going to go back out the way we came in. Call it good. So that's the plan right now. Not a lot of traffic on the kank today. And of course the small trailhead. <laughs> we got enough room for BK's car in here. Maybe and I hopefully nobody parks in front of us. And the plowed trucks are gentle to us while we're gone.
got it. Yeah, that's tough. Double track, right? Double, triple track? I don't know how that I don't know how that works. <laughs> we're on a snowmobile trail and where it is we're gonna be on it until we hit Sawyer uh, Sawyer River Road, which is a snowmobile trail. And then from there it's like 1.5 to the campsite. So pretty easy going. Sweet. Beautiful out here too right now. Hopefully the snow is falling. <laughs> Damn it. It's fucking, it's fucking pushing me. Did it? Fuck. Deeper than I thought. Snowshoe's actually so unstable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guess it doesn't float. <laughs> uh, my, yeah, it should be fine. I think the only thing on the bottom is like my chair. And my pack's up higher. Dude, you have things on top of my bag, right? Shit. I'm just gonna, you just throw my poles when you get to those, I don't want back up. Are we going with over there? Or? slope right here but there is what's that red lining in the winter time fun 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 are we going for it okay Head butted ya. See if I make fun of Syntec for uh, taking a poke on a trail again. <laughs> Holy crap. <sighs> Curious how this thing tracks. I should have been doing this. I need a reverse hand, uh, helmet cam. 
because if you turn around and look at it, it goes the wrong, it turns. <laughs> oh, you, you get it? In the face, eye? You get me in the face? Oh. Oh. Did it cut me? I don't, uh, no, I don't think no. so. Bad sign! <laughs> Were you taking a picture when I was doing that? <laughs> oh, my lens is all fogged up. Oh, fuck me! Oh. You want to know for a while? I won't bitch, and then I can I can film you pulling my pole. That'll be sweet. <laughs> let's, do, let's do it. Oh yeah, okay. You have another carabiner hanging. Oh jeez, am I? I'm so used to having it on there. It feels funny. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's almost like when you take your pack off and you run up Madison or something. Oh, it's not, yeah, because we're just gonna go up to the trailhead and then back on a trail, right? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, it pulls easier from this angle. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that hooked to someone. <laughs> Holy crap. I would not probably, well, I don't know if you'd want to go across. You're unhooked on one side anyways. You might want to unhook that. And we'll go across with it. That's what I'm thinking. Worst case, we're just getting the sled out of the river instead of you. But I think with one somebody on the back, actually I could probably almost carry it. Oh, you unhooked? Yeah. Okay. one hell of a freaking snow pile on that bridge. Holy crap. I was been here for a while. <laughs> it would look scary from that side though. Oh shit. Did I do that or did you? Huh. 
That's the coolest bridges on these rivers, though. I don't think this is wilderness. Yeah, can't be. Because like that, that last one was new. Yeah. <laughs> I am soaked to the bone. Holy crap. <laughs> but that bridge was a trip. Kangamangus Highway, 4.6 miles. Oh, that's the uh, the the other way. Yeah, 4.6, and then you got to swim across the river. There you go. Jeez, I can't even see. It's so dark in here. It's like nighttime. So much crap in it, like we live in. <laughs> it's like we're staying for a week. <laughs> what I love about staying at shelters, though, like you kind of like just make it your own. Yeah. Until somebody shows up. No, not yet. I was trying to take a picture, but it's so white. BK's hammock. Not the gathered in hammock like I use. So, everybody, we are. Settled in somewhat at the uh, Sawyer Pond campsite, lean-to. I'm sleeping in the lean-to tonight. Um, I tried to get some video inside. It was kind of dark, so I'm not sure how it'll come out. But right now we're collecting some firewood because fires are legal here. And I dug out the fire ring already. Um, right now we're just walking around trying to find some good dry wood, which is kind of hard considering the weather we've had. The snow is cut down, it's still flurrying. Um, wind's starting to pick up though, which it's supposed to do. But anyways, it'll be a good night. We got some views going on. So, gonna walk around, get some more wood, and get a fire started. Maybe dry a couple of my hiking clothes out. I was soaked to the bone. Everything came off and all new on. So, um, I'll either be hiking out my snow pants or Hiking on really wet pants. We don't get a fire going, but I'm sure we'll get one going. Three of us with saws should go pretty good. So, anyways, great sight up here. I'm glad, and I don't think anybody will show up. We'll probably have the place to ourselves, which would be cool. So, anyways, back to work. We're melting snow, and we just found this looking for firewood. So, only got a boil now, unless somebody has a little water filter which I've dipped and sipped in the winter before but because of where we are I don't think I would so a good natural fire starter obviously most people know is birch bark you don't want to pull this off of living trees but as you can see this one's dead and that one is dead right there and of course usually the the standing living ones are the ones with a good bark that peels off but you want to be taking that off so just stick to the dead ones Got some to get started. Here's a life sitting here, watch filming these guys work. <laughs> I'm Syntec. 
You ever notice he's always doing it? Mike's busting his ass and he's, oh, I'm, I gotta film. <laughs> now I see why he does it. I want some views. Oh, they're gone. Oh, uh, yeah, most of them. You still see a little bit. So here we are, it's like 11 o'clock, um, down here getting some water, got some fire going over at the shelter, um, Jonas is calling it a night heading to bed, but um, I'm going to heat up some water and have some tea, and then, uh, I don't know, hang around the fire for a while <laughs> until I pass out. Sleeping in the shelter is kind of cool something new to me. Oh, I love winter camping. Most times anyways. It was uh, pretty miserable coming in, but I had fun the whole time. I was so, I was so wet that I felt like I was uh, swimming. And I was still happy. That's fucked up. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna get some water, head back over, heat it up, have some uh, hot tea and honey, and uh, just sit by the fire. So anyways, I'll catch y'all in the morning. Good morning everybody. So we, uh, I made it through the night in the, sh uh, the shelter, but it wasn't fun. <laughs> the wind has been whipping um, across the pond and everything is covered in snow. Even with the tarps up, he was just still sleeping. He said he was going to leave around 7. It's, it's about 7 now. So he, he, he was still in bed. Um, last night though, I did come up and dig out the privy but uh 
it was funny because we were looking for firewood and I actually found a huge piece of dead wood that was laying across the door and so I got to cut that and uh, this is not one of the nicer ones but it does the job so here's Anthony's review of the campsite privy I think this is probably the third or fourth one I've done you guys are probably so lucky to know what the privies look like at every place I camp huh Anyways, I'm going to go back down there and probably make some coffee. Oh, too much drinking last night, for sure. Went to bed way too late after midnight anyways. And, uh, yeah, it's it's like 7 o'clock. That's, that's the latest I've ever slept in, I think, camping out. Last weekend, after I did, like, three back-to-back -back hiking trips, I think I slept in at the hotel till 8. <laughs> so, but anyways, time for coffee. Because there's no coffee from the hammock because there's no hammock this time. I'm lost. Shelters right down there, and the privies at the top of the hill. Of course, I packed out the trail last night too. This is all fresh, blown in snow. Satisfying. <clears throat> Jeez. 